Jamie Starkey was just 21 years old and should have been looking forward to his future, but he chose a path which ultimately led to his death. He would be murdered weeks after being released from prison for shooting a notorious drug dealer named Daniel G. At around 7.50pm, Starkey was shot dead outside of his home on Higher Lane in Fazakali, Liverpool as he got Christmas presents out of his car on the night of December 2nd, 2012. He was about to put up a Christmas tree with his little sister. The lone gunman who was wearing dark clothing approached Starkey and then opened fire at close range, hitting him six times in the body. The hitman ran across a nearby playing field, leaving Starkey to die. The murder weapon, a self-loading Browning pistol, was found by a member of the public in June 2012 in the Leeds Liverpool Canal near to Mellingstone Bridge Brewery Lane. It was concealed in a plastic bag along with mobile phones and jewellery. Forensic tests would confirm that the mud-covered gun was the one used to kill Starkey in what detectives described as a cold-blooded calculated murder. Since the murder, a total of five men have been arrested and questioned as part of their investigation, but no one has ever been charged. On New Year's Eve 2008, a 16-year-old Starkey was out celebrating with friends and in the early hours of New Year's Day, Starkey would get into a confrontation with the ruthless drug dealer Daniel G. Starkey fled the scene out of fear and retrieved a Colt revolver from a nearby derelict house. A few minutes later, at around 5am, Starkey made his way towards the Salisbury pub on Pulford Street. He would shoot Daniel G at point-blank range in the stomach. The bullet pierced his lung and exited from his back. G was taken to hospital but refused treatment then left. Starkey was jailed in 2008 after admitting wounding with intent and possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life. He received seven years of which he served three and a half in a young offenders institution. In 2008, Liverpool Crown Court was told how Starkey, who had learning difficulties, fired at G after claiming his family had suffered months of threats and violence. On one occasion, associates of G were said to have smashed every window at his home covering Starkey's four-year-old sister in glass. It emerged following the shooting of G, who had sent a text message to Starkey offering not to speak with police in exchange for £20,000, was plotting revenge within hours of being shot. When a policeman went to speak with G about his injuries, he said, I fell over mate, then winked and added, but don't worry, I'll get the little Police bugged G's flat to trap him over his drug deals, but also recorded phone calls which showed G conspiring to buy guns and threatening to kill Starkey. In 2010, G was found guilty of two counts of threats to kill and another two of blackmail, and was told to serve a minimum of four and a half years concurrently to the term he is serving for drug dealing. At the time, Judge Henry Globe QC told I am in no doubt that the public must be protected from you in the future. I really do not know when it will be safe to release you. Despite five people being arrested and questioned, Starkey's killer is still at large and the case remains unsolved. Starkey's father, Richard, would later reveal that he knew who killed his son and so did the police, but due to lack of evidence, they cannot prove it in court. Seven months after Starkey's death, his son was born and named Jamie in honour of his father.